Hi everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Unbound. This is part three of our series where we take on the Elite Four with Monotype teams. Today, we're gonna to be attempting with the Steel, Ground, and Dark Monotype teams. Okay, so I have nine Steel types to choose from. That's the most amount of Pokemon I have of one type. The only Steel type I had before I went out and caught more was Silvalli, which isn't even a Steel type naturally. We added Metagross, Celesteela, Necrozma, Ferrothorn, Scissor, Lucario, Mawile, and Excadrill. It makes sense to ditch Necrozma, just because it'll already be appearing on plenty of other teams since it's capable of being four types, those being Psychic, Steel, Ghost, and Dragon. I think I'll also pass on using Scissor and Lucario. They both have Mega Evolutions and are pretty popular Pokemon anyway. Nobody's gonna lose sleep if they don't appear on my team. For our ground team, we had Blyscor and Zygarde. I added Garchomp, Gastrodon, Mamoswine, Nidoking, and Excadrill. We have to ditch one of them, and I think I'm gonna go with Zygarde. Having two Dragon Ground types isn't necessary if I can help it. We already had half of our Dark team set with Tyranitar, Scrafty, and Gyarados. So we added Weavile, Alolan Muck, Houndoom, and Spiritomb, and Hoopa Unbound. Even though I used it as an example, I'll not bother using Gyarados here. You'll be appearing on the Water and Flying teams. And originally, I was gonna use Houndoom, but the, the Elite Four run called for Hoopa Unbound, so Hoopa Unbound is my sixth choice. And those are the teams for today's video. As always, I put a lot of time into these, so a like goes a long way. Thank you. All right, now we're going to be taking on uh, the Elite Four with the Steel types. And before I do, um, obviously, I've recorded the last episode. It's been uploaded. You guys have left comments and stuff. And I, I kind of wanted to talk about some of the comments on the last video. So I feel like there's this like misconception. Maybe people just don't watch. Maybe people just don't watch my videos. I don't know. But people were, uh, from what I gathered, there were certain people like, like okay, I'm going to just put it this way. When I play ROM hacks, like difficulty ROM hacks, I like playing with Pokemon I like playing with. I, I, that, that might sound insane but like someone was complaining like oh hey uh this was unentertaining because you didn't plan your team you just use pokemon you like and i'm just kind of like yeah that's always been the point of my videos i've always i've always just wanted to use the pokemon i like using i i think that's i don't know that's that's always been in my i've always been under the impression correct me if i'm wrong comments i've always been under the impression you guys like watching me Attack. Like, I, I beat Radical Red with a fucking Cramorant because I like Cramorant, a shiny Cramorant at that. Like, I've always been under the impression that you guys watch because you want to see me beat the game with Pokemon I like. Like, I don't know. Am I wrong? Um, so that was a weird comment. And then there was people commenting about how I don't exactly remember what they said, but they were basically insinuating that I'm, I don't, I don't, I'm not good at competitive Pokemon, which is just wrong. Uh, I think they were saying I, I don't really keep up. Like I, I'll, I'll admit something. I don't keep up with the meta or anything of, of that sort. You know, I'm not, uh, I'm not crazy into, you know, what, what's going on meta game wise, but I do know competitive Pokemon. Uh, you'll hear me in videos rattle off random stats about Pokemon. Like, oh yeah. Um, fucking zerkatree has got 83 base speed and you know i'll double check it just to make sure but like I'll, I'll i know so much random shit about pokemon like i am a, i i can competitively battle i don't keep up with the meta games and i'm not so good at doubles in vgc but i'm not bad by any stretch and i'm not a noob and like i don't know it, it, people were trying to people were just it, the comments were just a little bit insane last video there were half of you guys were like oh yeah this battle the ground type battle was really unfair because i mean yeah it is pretty unfair i mean that's that's part of the difficulty though i'm not complaining that it's unfair um but like well, i'm a human if i'm spending two hours on a single battle and i've got how many more battles to do of course i'm going to be frustrated you know <laughs> um i don't know if, like i, I asked I, people were also telling me like oh hey the fire type one was the one I struggled on most too. So like, it's not just me, the fire type against the ground type elite four member, it's just a challenge. And that's just how it's going to be. I, like there's not that many bulky fire types, believe it or not there there. And if there are, you know, I just like, I, for example, Incineroar, it would be a good bulky fire type. I've already used Incineroar in my last playthrough. I don't use Incineroar again. There's Arcanine. I'm not the biggest fan of Arcanine, you know, and then there's like Colossal, which is four times weak to ground. And, you know, people were suggesting, well, why didn't you bring Oracorio or Charizard? And it's like, the Pokemon we're fighting have Rock Slide. Do you... <laughs> like, there's no... I don't think there's really, like, a correct answer. I mean, there's probably a definitive best team for me to use against that Elite Four member. But ultimately, the whole point of these videos is that I'm using Pokemon I like using. Like, that's always how it's been. 
that's that's always how it's been and there, I, I, there was just some insane comments like someone was basically saying like oh hey and I, I want you guys to know i'm not letting the comments get to me or anything but it's just it just comes across as people that just don't watch my videos because someone i'm gonna pull up the comment because it, this one is the one that really irked me because i'm just like you've just you just straight up didn't watch the last video did you you play super offensively i'm not criticizing you or anything your content is amazing but this game is freaking hard and even on expert mode i think 80 percent of my mods have protect on them i've been going through the game trying to cheese the battles with strategies as much as possible yeah i mean that's fair if that's how you want to play but i want to use pokemon i like using i don't want to just come in here with an optimal team Otherwise, I'd play on insane difficulty. The reason why I decided to play expert instead of insane is because expert gave me more leeway to use Pokemon I like. Insane, it feels like you have to use a specific array of Pokemon to win. And then, yeah, a reply to this comment was, I assume Callum is not good at competitive metagame. He even said that he's just doing monotype team based on the Pokemon he liked. A lot of casual players play hyper offense without anything, uh, for any thought on team synergy. No casual player have the patience to use Ferrothorn or Toxapex in regular gameplay. And I just thought that was insane because I literally have, I mean, you guys can see on my Steel type team, I literally have a Ferrothorn and on my fucking water team, the first first water type I went for was Toxapex. If you watch me play ROM hacks at all, you know I like playing with bulky slow mons. It was literally a thing throughout this entire playthrough that my whole team was slow and bulky. I, I have the patience for it. I'm not a casual player by any stretch. I, I, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at a competitive meta game. I mean, I'll agree that I don't necessarily know the current meta game, but I can definitely pick up on it and learn relatively fast. I just, I don't know. I, I just thought the comments were a bit insane. Maybe I should have taken some more time to cut out, uh, cut the, cut the sand part of the video down because it was like literally like 35 minutes of the video was just me taking on like, you know, the fire type challenge. And then it was 13 minutes of electric and like 15 minutes of rock. Like I get it. It probably and like in like 25 of those uh, minutes for the for the fire type action was me struggling against the ground leaf. Like I get it, but people also did leave comments telling me they wanted to see like everything. So I don't know. You you can't make everyone happy. I guess is the uh, is where is, is you know is the bottom line, and I get that, but. I just, that was insane that he was like, no casual player has the patience to use Ferrothorn or Tog's effect in regular gameplay. I, I wasn't using hyper offensive fire types for the sake of it. There's just not that many bulky fire types that I wanted to use. Like people suggest the Colossal four times weak to ground. Incineroar, I've already used them before. Arcanine, I just didn't really want to use Arcanine. I, I, I can't really think of any other. Anyways, I've, I've like talked about this way too much. I do have like Lucario, Scissor, and something else. I can't remember. I've got a bunch of other possible steel types to use instead of Blasphemy here, but I, I kind of want to style. I, I kind of want style points. Steel is, uh, you know, arguably the best type in the game. Steel slash fairy, to the, the contender for the best types in the game. So I don't think we're going to struggle too much with a steel type mono team here. Rocking out with a stalling Celesteela. Yeah, I, th I think we're going to be just fine. Um, so yeah, we have an Earthquaking Dickhead at the start. So leading Celesteela probably makes sense. And then I might just lead with my own Excadrill, to be honest. We gave it a Choice Scarf because, I mean, we're, this is going to be the only battle where we have Sand. Maybe I should Band it for this battle. Uh, I don't know if I've got a Choice Band on. Uh, maybe my Choice Band's in my PC still. Oops. Whatever, man. We'll be fine. Wish my Excadrill had Mold Breaker. Wait, actually, hold on. Is Mold Breaker a hidden ability? I do have like a Dream Mist, right? I do. Ah, okay. Now the question becomes, <sighs> okay, let's change it to Mold Breaker and then let's not save just because I'm pretty sure his Excadrill will outspeed mine. Let me just protect and then Earthquake. Yeah, his Excadrill does outspeed mine, but he's not, okay, he's not, mm -hmm. he's not Earthquaking, which is very weird. All right, all right. I think I'll just rock out with Sand Rush for this battle since it's a permanent sandstorm and we'll, we'll, we'll not scarf ourselves into anything. We'll give ourselves a life orb. But after that, I might um, scarf him and give him Mold Breaker. Although I might want the sand again for the... <sighs> this sand battle is really annoying. I might just leave it. I might I might not need Mold Breaker for any other battles. Okie dokie, artichokey. Let's give this a shot. So I think I'm just going to straight up... I think I'll just leech seed the Flygon and then we're just going to fire off an Earthquake. We won't do any damage to the Flygon because we don't have Mold Breaker, but that's fine. Excadrill is going to be down to a sash. Uh, the opposing Excadrill also earthquakes. Right, okay. Hmm. Um, This Excadrill is always like the, the thing that we need to get past. Maybe I just leave Metagross and Bullet Punch. Yeah, but then we get earthquaked. Um, okay. You know what? I just run Focus Sash on my Excadrill too. Two can play that game, you know? We'll just fucking mirror match him. And because my Excadrill is one level higher for some godforsaken reason. Which I don't like, by the way. I want... 
I want the team to have full, I want them to have full level 100s also, but you know, I, you know, can't, can't always get what we want. I mean, I think we, this is really frustrating because I'm trying to think if Excadrill really is worth it. I think we lose Excadrill no matter what happens here because then Flygon just heat waves and kills. So, and I need to, I need to attack the Excadrill on the right to make sure it's dead. Uh, no matter what, we're, we're at disadvantage off the bat. Uh, I mean, to be honest, I don't need to earthquake with Excadrill though. To, yeah. Um, okay. Hold on. You know what? Let's reset this. We have Ice Fang on Blasphemy. He is relatively quick. Is he quicker than Flygon? I think Flygon's faster. Mm, let's Bullet Punch the Excadrill and then we'll High Horse Power the Excadrill. Smack them, dead. Okay, Heat Wave, but we can take that. Yeah, okay. No burns, no burns, thank you. All right, then Landorus comes in. He's gonna drop attack. Pretty annoying, uh, but what can you do? I think we then, I mean, we just play, we just play like their game, right? We just fire off rock slides, try and get some flinches and then we meteor mash the, the Landorus. Like, me, like the thing about Mega Metagross is like, it literally slapped so fucking hard. Like, look at this shit. This shit's gonna do a lot of damage still. That did a lot of damage considering I'm minus one. And then he earthquakes, okay. So I think something I need to consider. We leave Metagross non mega kill the Excadrill. Uh, we'll take the, we'll take the Heat Wave. Sandslash comes in instead, okay. I wonder why. The reason I didn't Mega Evolve it is because we have Clear Body. Um, which means obviously we don't get stat reductions from Intimidate. Excadrill would still be reducted, but we're just trying to flinch with Excadrill anyway, so it's not a big deal. <sighs> okay, um, so we've got this ground gem. Mm, I think I just go into Celesteela here, and then I just fire... Mm, I don't know, Ice High Horse Power would probably do more damage. Iron Head, flinches... Uh, yeah, I think Celesteela is definitely the switch. And then I just uh, direct High Horsepower. High Horsepower does a decent chunk. He gets the Earthquake off, Excadrill dies. I'm not sure if Excadrill is super necessary. Cool, all right. So this is where we bring in our Bulkymons. I'll fire off a Leech Seed on the Flygon, I think. And I guess we'll just, we'll just power with this hand slash to get out of the way. And here comes the Rock Slide Plunges. See, this is part of why like, oh wait, yeah, fucking Heat Wave on the Flygon. Ooh, great escape live, please, thank you. Leech seed and great escape flinch. This is part of why I enjoy running fast mons as well, because like a lot of the fucking elite four just like to spam rock slide flinching bullshit. Unfortunately, great escape's gonna die unless, yep, we don't miss. Okay, I'm going to heavy slam the sand slash and I guess I'll just sucker punch the sand slash. I don't think it will kill though. It doesn't quite kill. Thankfully, sand slash used. Rock slide instead of earthquake, and then heavy slam will finish. Very cool. A sand slash is a problem, dude. So we protect here, and then I'm going to. I mean, no matter what happens, I'm just like, this like, I, I, Mawile can't do anything but sucker punch. That's all Mawile can do right now because Mawile dies to heat wave. Sucker punch doesn't quite kill. The leech seed will kill it though. I don't even know if this is better, but whatever. Right, Quagsire comes in. I'm going to attempt to leech seed. I guess I should leech seed Quagsire because it's guaranteed. And then, oh yeah, I already mega evolved Mawile. That's fine. Um, I guess I just Zen head about the fucking Glyscore. I don't know. We actually land it nice. Leech seed up on the Quag. I'm going to swap out into Blasphemy and then we'll just keep Zen head button from Glyscore. He swapped out too. Okay, you pussy. All right. Uh, I, I ice fine the Landorus, and then I'm just gonna keep that head buying. Ice Fang, we're faster, nice. Ice Fang does a decent chunk. Landorus is probably, oh, and Glyscore just dies to the Metagross, nice. We're all gonna get Earthquake. Oh, no, he U-turns, okay, that's interesting. I don't see that one coming. And then he sends him back in. All right, we go back into Platinum here. We can Meteor Mash this Landorus. Smack him, big kill, big kill. Picked up a big KO. Yeah, see, this isn't like my cleanest battle, but like, we're, we're doing it. I'm gonna multi-attack. Oh, yeah. I guess Ice Fang works, and I'll just keep Meteor Mashing. Yeah, we got, we, got, we, got the, we got the Ice Fang Freeze, that's all that matters. Cool, done, easy. It absolutely rolled. So now I know you lead Mimic, you... Um, I guess Mawile would be a pretty good lead to counter. Either that or Ferrothorn, I don't know. I think I just fucking Tucker Punch it, and then I just Iron Head. Okay, he switches out, cool. The Cephalon comes in, you're gonna take... Well, you're not gonna take that much damage because of the Shadow Shield. Oh, that did so much considering, and then I Sucker Punch, and then you die. That was a terrible switch in. And Aegislash comes in, uh, Aegislash likes the toxics i mean yeah age slash kind of sucks against this team or especially bulky platinum i'm gonna go into platinum and then we're just gonna at least eat up yeah we're gonna miss and now we set up a substitute okay i'll go into gurren let's fire up earthquakes i know you're gonna king shield so i will let you do that and then go back into platinum oh no he shadow balled okay that's weird well, now I can leech seed. Epic. Now you die. I misclicked and fired off a toxic, but you know what? I, I'm going to pretend that I meant to do that. And I'm going to protect. Uh, yeah, I should have saw, saw the iron defense coming. That's my bad. I'm going to leech seed up. 
And we miss. Epic, dude. I want to protect. Um, body press. Who's like my most expendable? I don't know. You can just kill him and take iron barbs damage. Oh, you can't even kill him. You pathetic idiot. Bye bye. Banette comes in. I'll let you have him. Oh, he goes for the burn. That's so funny. It's so funny he didn't just attack me and kill me. Because now I get stealth rocks up. I don't even know if stealth rocks works against this team, but you know, whatever. I'm going to parting shot. Now I'm going to swords dance. And you burn me. I'm going to swords dance again. Fuck you. And now we're going to sucker punch. And I didn't kill because of the stupid shadow shield. I keep forgetting about that. Okay, whatever, dude. Your stats have been dropped, so there's no way you can take me out. Gonna medium mash. Oh my god, stop with the willows. I forget it's got prankster willow wisp. I'm like, yeah, I've, I'm a, I outspeed it, I'm fine. But then prankster willow wisp. Dude, self rock just doesn't work in this battle. I think that's actually really bullshit. Whatever. Double meteor mash, doesn't quite kill. And he burns me. And this is just a fucking battle and a half. Okay, I'm just gonna multi attack. It probably won't even kill because Savali's kind of pathetic. Yeah, I thought so. He switches into Aegis Slash. Oh, the Stealth Rocks works on him. I guess it doesn't work if you're at full HP. Whatever, dude. Going to Platinum. I'm gonna Elite Seed. There we go. Now this Aegis Slash is gonna die. He can sit behind a, a substitute all he wants. He is the one gonna be losing HP, not me. And he's dead. I hate that Aegis Slash so much. It's just annoying. And Mickey comes back in. I'm just gonna fire up a Heavy Slam. Dead. Ah, and I got a beast boost. Nice. Cool. Heavy slam kills. And that's Elias. Not too bad. That one was relatively straightforward. I, f I feel like very unclean winning with the steel types. Because, like, I mean, the other, the other battles I do, I generally have to, like, come up with, like, a, okay, I lead this Pokemon, and then we swap into this Pokemon, and then we attack this move. And, the, yeah, like, we come up with, like, a strategy, and, like, there's, like, a there's like a method to it. Whereas with these battles, with these, like, this team, it, it's just kind of like, uh, my Pokemon are so good, you know, even if I make errors, you know. I don't have to play perfectly to win. And I don't know. It feels a bit unclean and a bit incoherent, but, I mean, I still win, so I guess like who fucking cares uh so rabombi's leading um i don't really like i got uh, dual wing beat aerodactyl was good for that um but like uh rabombi 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 yeah i think no matter what they're gonna get like get set up right i'm gonna get set up too i'm gonna stealth rocks and release seed uh, i should have sneaky webs up oh no well i'm gonna jar ball this idiot and kill it how did that not kill i just oh yeah reflect uh duh cool well that just I mean that's fine i don't mind not killing it because that just means we get like an extra turn of reflect being wasted rabombi goes down azumarill comes in i'm gonna leech seed the azumarill as it superpowers me youch that hurt look how much health it's got though like fucking rocky helmet plus barb plus lead seed like it just it just hurts itself and then it's gonna swap togekiss question mark maybe sylveon okay that's fair sylveon has his defense up that's not a problem the reflect should be going away soon i know this thing has mystical fire but none of my pokemon are really built to take that i mean Farathorn's kind of like done more than enough i'm gonna lead seed up in case i live ah i do live cool lead seed <laughs> don't care plus ratio i'm just trying to waste the reflect at this point thanks i don't think ferrothorn had much else use in that battle i wonder oh yeah because of clear body we don't get our sped now awesome we don't get our speed dropped awesome i forgot about that there goes is, is so good die happy finny yeah you having i can just mega evolve meta goes here having um ferrothorn for finny would have been fine i guess but it's not like dire because like this is gonna do a lot of damage that did a lot considering how fat tapu finny is then headbutt again then we then headbutt one more time nope i missed cool cool i love missing yeah okay, i speed to me now because of the sticky webs earthquake doesn't even kill it oh my god okay dude thankfully blasphemy is still faster togekiss is here i'm gonna just multi-attack it mac cam is it gonna die it doesn't quite die. It's got Wish. Okay. I thought for sure I would have seen a flamethrower coming my way, but nope. Togekiss is dead. Got Mawile. I'm going to parting shot the Mawile. And also come in and give my my own two cents with my Mawile. Give it an Intimidate. I think your Mawile sucks. And I, I'm obviously, I'm a, I'm a regular Mawile versus a Mega Mawile. There's only so much I can do. I'm just going to Iron Head it. Iron Head again. Does it kill me? It does. I got crit though. I think the crit mattered. All right. Well, I guess I'll set up Elite Seed with Platinum. Youch, that hurt. Protect. I'll go for the double protect. No. Ah, I tried sucker punching me. That's funny. All right, I guess I'll go for the triple. Stop sucker punching me, you pussy. All right, heavy slam to finish it. Oh yeah, I'm faster than it. Why was I? Why was I being so scared? I could literally attack and kill it. And we have an Azumarill. Just heavy slam that, and not quite KO it. This one will though. See what I mean though? Like, yeah, this Elite Four run has been very easy. I've not really had to think too much. I've just kind of walked in here and like, I just kept, even though like I made a mistake and like Amon died if I didn't want it to die, I just kept the battle going and we still like found a way to win. My only issue is like running out of PP, but it's fine. We can make it work all right so we've got gudra leads next to 
Tarantrum. Dude was an annoying bitch. Tarantrum. Also an annoying bitch. Let's try this out. I'm gonna Iron Head. Mega Ball of Iron Head. And then I'm gonna... I'll, I'll multi-attack the Tarantrum just in case it doesn't die. I feel like it should. Oh, wait. No, I go first. Fuck. That makes no sense. Oh, wow. Multi-attack just straight up kills Tarantrum. Okay, that's good to know. We're gonna Muddy Water now. Okay, I... Okay, Mawile's insane. All right. I just fucking play rough here. And I'm just gonna fucking... I'm just gonna multi-attack the Gudra. Gudra dead. Bye-bye. You're gonna Aura Sphere. You are sure the wrong Pokemon, dude. Mawile's coming for your ass, homie. Mawile's coming for your ass, bro. Dead. It is so satisfying rolling these guys. Although it might stop here. I'm going to sucker punch the Sceptile. And I'm going to U-turn the Sceptile. It's going to rock slide, though. So that's why I'm sucker punching. Sucker punch. Big damage. Oh, Mawile, you sexy bitch. Rock slide does unfortunately take him out. A dragon's going to dark fall. <laughs> Doesn't even fucking flamethrower. How sad. How sad. All right. We then go for the play rough on the Hydreigon, and I'm going to bullet punch the Sceptile. This is why I also love priority moves, dude. Fuck your base 130 speed, Sceptile. I'm a priority move. Dark pulse on gear. That's fine. Play rough is going to take out Hydreigon. All according to plan. Now we just have a Latias to beat, which gets smacked by a sucker punch and a heavy slam. Pokemon is an easy game. It is pretty interesting to like see how like different monotype teams fare though like it's definitely interesting i think it's super cool to like see how much i struggled with fire but like you know obviously it depends on the elite four too you know like if i was fighting kanto's elite four i would maybe have an easier time with fire types for example i mean i probably wouldn't because there's a fuck although there's a nice type but she does have a lot of war types too but like you know what i mean like like this isn't like definitive proof of oh fire is the weakest type because i couldn't do that well and unbound like elite four you know like it just it's just a product of <laughs> the game you know like it's not i'm not saying oh in every pokemon game fire type is one of the worst types i'm not that's not what i've been saying but like for what i was up against fire generally did suck all right who's it gonna be oh it's marlin again okay single battles baby yeah he leads dusk noir um maybe i swords dance yeah he pulled a geist and i avoid the attack that's so funny i'll just sucker punch and i just don't get to do that okay he's gonna go into crook to drop my attack not a problem i'll live and play rough nope i don't live holy shit crocodile you're scary all right so dusk noir lead you know i think mawile is a good lead against dusk noir we get the attack drop and we can um we can sword dance on his face and then we'll play rough which is good because then crocodile just dies and zapdos comes in he's gonna heat wave nothing really takes that very well anyway so i'll just play rough oh he thunderbolts okay that's fine i'll go to gurin and i'll just hit him with a rock slide there's the heat wave rock slide big damage doesn't quite ko unfortunate let's see the Silvalli at speed Silvalli does not have speed he's a max speed zapdos okay good to know uh nihiligo is also going to be faster than us so we'll just have to die this guy's team is scary he switches nihiligo into machamp smart I'm going to Platinum, and I'm going to Leech Seed. And I'm also going to Toxic. That Dynamic Punch hurt, though. All right. I will Zen Headbutt you. Dust Nor comes back in. I'll meet your mash it. Poor guy's hurt, so I'll meet your mash it again. I miss. Okay, cool. All right. It's Ferrothorn versus the world. Head up a Leech Seed. Head up a Stealth Rocks. And he just kills me. Okay. We need a little bit more structure going on here. We've got a good intro to the battle. You know, we lead Mawile. Um, I mean... Do I have to Mega Evolve? I'll try just Swords Dancing and then I'll play rough. Okay, he doesn't. He's not threatened unless I'm a Mega Mawile, but this might be better actually. Maybe I'll just, okay, Sucker Punch Nihiligo and it dies. Um, maybe I swap out and it's Crook into Platinum. Yeah, like what's it gonna do against that? I'll just fucking set up a Leech Seed. You know, this is actually kind of working better. Um, this thing's gonna Thunderbolt me. I'll go into Gurren for that. He's then gonna Heat Wave me, um, which I don't really have anything for. I was thinking about using a Napoleon, but I didn't. All right, the Rock Slide should finish it. Yeah, there we go, nice. Zapdos has been taken care of. I'm going to Platinum again. Darkest Lariat, ooh, he's fucking gotten the better of me. He's gotten the better of me. Pretty sure Blasphemy should outspeed this, hit up a U-turn. Go into, uh, yep, great escape. Rock, rocky helmet shit like that power whip yep the rocky helmet stuff we'll finish him we're going to gear i'm going to mega evolve gear and then we'll smack him with zen headbutt and then we'll zen headbutt and then we'll zen headbutt this too easy 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 the game is easy that's so funny i just didn't mega evolve my mall while and things worked out pretty happy with this team though i mean two of the members i did get from a fucking code but i mean i could have easily bred them and train them if i wanted to <laughs> that was easy i thought Silvalli might have let me down and been like a, a weakest link but Silvalli was actually surprisingly good so valley definitely pulled its weight all right it's time to take on the elite four with the ground types i actually really like this team uh the only ground type i didn't bother using that i already had was zygarde um I just thought like it was a bit redundant to have, you know, Zygarde on, you know, Zygarde and Garchomp, both two grown dragons. And I kind of wanted to use Garchomp because, you know, he's, uh, he's one of the stars of the game and I've been using, I've used Metagross and Tyranitar already, so eh, we'll use Garchomp. Why not? And um, yeah, I'm really excited about Nidoking, Nidoking with a scarf. I mean, I might actually 
life orb him instead. I don't know. It depends. I think for the first battle, he'll need a scarf at least. But like Sheer Force Needle King has always been one of my favorites. I loved using him in UU back in like the Gen 5 days. Like Sheer Force Scarf Needle King is always a staple for me like back in the day. So I'm excited to be using him again. Um, using Mamoswine. Not really the biggest fan of Mamoswine, but you know, it's an ice type for the ice team and a ground type for the ground team. You know, you can't really say no. Um, running Garchomp with a Megastone. Um, just because, you know, I figured why not. Um, I you might not necessarily need it. I don't have rough skin on him. I can give him the dream mist though. If I decide I want that, I might actually do that. I think he's the, he's probably, he'll probably benefit the most from having rough skin more than the Sandvale. Uh, Gastrodon, got, just, just gotta love Gastrodon. Excadrill, we just battled him. So we all, we already know about Excadrill. And you know, we got my fucking Shomo, my boy Shomo. He's, uh, he's been an MVP. He almost soloed the Elite Four, so. Uh, I think the ground team looks like a really solid one and I'm looking forward to giving it a shot. As always, we attempt to take on the Mole Man first. Uh, yeah, I don't, yeah, I think this is a fine lead actually. I didn't even think about my lead, but I think this is a fine lead. I think we just um, fire off a Toxic on Flygon and then I just fire off, eh, I don't know. Do I have anything else? I'll Stealth Rocks and then I'll just fucking, I'll just, eh, I'll just fire Horsepower. I know Excadrill is gonna die, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so then from here, I'm going to stack up and then I'm gonna fire up a Night Shard on the extra gel. You can keep clanging scales all you want. And then I guess we'll just Toxic Sand Slash. Uh, I don't, yeah, I guess I'll Ice Shard the Flygon because it'll definitely kill. Dead. Sand Slash goes to the Rock Slide like an idiot. No, Landorus wants to say hi. I'm gonna Protect and I'm going to Ice. I'm gonna Icicle. Mm, mm. Yeah, I guess, uh, I don't know. I guess I'll, I'll Ice Shard the Landorus. Big damage. Mamoswine gets targeted, but that's okay because Landorus is on his last legs. Fly score comes in and we can try and Toxic that as well as Ice Beaming with uh, Donald. Yeah, we'll try and... No, we should probably try and kill. Yeah. Sand Slash still got the big earthquake coming. You know, we'll Ice Beam. Fuck it. Sand Slash gets withdrawn. Okay, good. Poisoned the Fly Score so he can't fucking stall us out too much. Hopefully uh, Gastrodon can break through. Yep, there we go. Big Ice Beams. All right, I think we're good. Uh, I'll Toxic the Quagsire too. And then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna Ice Beam with the Fly Score again. We missed, but that's okay. I'll Protect up. I'll Protect up, yeah. And then I think he yawned something. I'm going to Kiva swapping out we're just straight up chilling dude um i'm gonna mega evolve and i'm gonna fire off a big earthquake yeah dragon claw on the quags are look at that fucking chin bro big dragon claw oof this fucking guy dude i'm just gonna earthquake and he's roosting so that's good we land on both of them this quags are muddy water which gave donald a boost and then you should die to toxic quags are yep cool landris comes back in it's a silly mistake, bro. That's a silly mistake. I'll just ice beam you. Nah, he you turns out. That's what I thought, you fucking coward. Sand Slash gets ice beamed and dies. Yeah, this is easy. My ground team is better than your ground team. Under ties to Earthquake. I'm sorry, ice beam. And now we just got Glide Score. That's spamming Roost uh, over and over and over again. So, I mean, all I can really do is like Earthquake and fucking ice beam and hope I kill it, to be honest. Uh, gets, they'll die eventually, right? <laughs> there it is. Cool, we got him. That was very satisfying though, I'm not gonna lie. Like beating him with my with my fucking my own grown team, that was very satisfying. I'm gonna do that sussy thing and give my leftovers to uh Shomo now that he's poisoned. Pre-poison plus leftovers. I mean the AI has some bullshit that they fucking work with. Like they've got shadow shields and shit like that. So if I can have a pre-poisoned fly score, I absolutely will. Needle King didn't get to do anything in that last battle, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and use him in this battle. Alright, so we're facing Mimikyu, who's an annoying little shit. Needle King's in like a weird speed tier. It's like 85 base speed, I believe, which is just like, it's not the fastest, but it's not the slow. It's a good for a scarf user. Yeah, Needle King, 85 base speed. Ugh. Kind of just wish it made a modest now, modest scarf instead of timid scarf. Timid scarf just doesn't really do as much damage as, you, as you'd like it to. Um, uh, I think, I guess, leading this against Mimikyu might be nice. Set him the Sludge Wave. Sludge Wave doesn't quite kill. Right, okay. Maybe Echidol's better. Just Iron Head, Iron Head. Yeah, it goes into Blacephalon then. Alright, let's try this. Iron Head, and then Earthquake. Let's go for Grigus now. You fucking stupid AI and you're learning bullshit. I'll go into Shomo. You can try body pressing all you want. So I'm gonna poison you, and you miss. I'm gonna poison you again, and actually let it land this time. Alright, now what? Well, I thought it was Earthquake. He's not switching out. He's just night shading. Okay, I'm gonna protect, and I'm gonna Earthquake. And now I'm gonna protect, and okay, he's literally on one HP. So like, I'm gonna Stealth Rocks just so he dies when he comes in. This thing, like these guys are fucked against Shomo like this like th that, that was a crit that didn't that did nothing for damage all right I'm gonna toxic you as well fuck you oh you lead seeded me oh no um I'm going to Henry Henry can deal with this hit him with a nice beam big damage yeah see what I mean the timid just the timid if it was modest that would have killed it's not enough you know all right um 
the Cephalon. Donald can take care of that. Ooh, maybe not. He's setting up. Uh, Scald. Ooh, that's doing Earth Power. Earth power, uh, earth, nope, not quite enough. He did just get a speed buff too. That's okay, I have Ice Shard, dead. Aegis Slash, huh? I know you don't have any steel moves. I'm just gonna fire off Earthquakes. No reason not to. He'll eventually come out and he's gonna Shadow Ball me or Toxic me. Toxic, yep. And then we hit Earthquake. It's just, this is just such, like I just, this Aegis Slash is just so boring. All right, dead, cool. Maybe he comes back in, it's probably gonna outspeed me and kill me. Yeah, Shadow Sneaks, okay. Um, Jumbo can handle this. Oh. Hit him with the toxic, and then we'll just protect up. Hit him with an earthquake. Yeah, you're dead. Fuck you. Revenant comes in, protect up. Oh yeah, fucking harvest Revenant, man. Gotta love it. I'll go into Kiba, and then we'll just uh, mega evolve and hit him. Some, hit him with some dragon claws. Hit him some. Hit him with some raw damage. The net comes in. I'll just hit him with an earthquake. No reason not to. Henry can finish off with some earth powers, and then go for Giga Stice to Stealth Rocks. And that is how you defeat Elite Four Elias. Glad Henry got to shine a little bit more there. All right, I restored the PP on Glyscore. I think that's the only one that really needs it right now. All right, Fairy Time. So let's just try and uh let's try and two throw this i think most of my mons are physical so hopefully with the fact that i'm special it'll set a light screen yep yep okay then we'll sludge wave again fuck you and here comes the zoomerill big fat zoomerill i'm going to donald take the fucking water type attack yep fuck you i'll go for a scald to try and burn i'm gonna go into sylveon not a problem love not a problem i'll go into henry mystical fires me okay weird sludge wave sludge wave sludge wave fucking God, Mystical Fire dropping my special attack sucks. Here's a Mawile. I'm going to show him. Show him can handle a Mawile. Swords Dance, Mawile too. Uh, I guess all the rest Big damage. Okay, we got this. Oh my god, it O-Code me. Holy shit. I underestimated Mawile. I'm Sash, so even though if Sucker Punch takes me down, I'm good. Okay, cool. Goes into Finny. Give me that big Earthquake damage. Ugh, that did nothing. We went to Donald. Yep, there's the Surf. Donald is val very valuable here. Just do a little bit of damage with some Earth Powers, you know? Sprinkle in some Earth Powers. Yep, just keep switching. Just keep switching and being stupid. I'm just gonna keep Earth Powering you guys. I'm just gonna keep... Oh, Mawile kills me. Okay. And this is where I Earthquake. Yeah, Sucker Punch doesn't do shit to me. Fuck you. I, I say it doesn't do shit, but it actually did quite a lot of damage. Um, I think I have speed. Yeah, Icicle Crash, cool. Icicle Crash again, as you go into Azumarill. Ooh, Icicle Crash didn't kill. Okay. I go into Gurren, sack it off. Oh yeah, I lived on... Uh, doesn't matter. Okay. And then we Sludge Wave. Cool. And then we Sludge Wave. Cool. Let's go, Henry. Let's fucking go. If the ground types keep this up, they might actually be the fastest team I beat the Elite Four with. I'm finding, like, a lot of respect for ground types right now. Alright, so they lead... Gudra plus Tarantrum. I have to give Toxic Aura back to Shomo, god damn it. Let's just try this out. How much does Earth Power do to Tarantrum? Um, let's see. Earth Power, straight up Oko is it. Cool. We got Iron Head on Gudra. Nice. Gudra flinches. Awesome. Good. I wonder if an Ice Beam would Oko him. Maybe. I don't think Ice Beam would Oko Tarantrum. Um, I will then. Um, we're just gonna double into Gudra to kill it. Oh, Mist Ball. Oh shit, that hurt. None of your shenanigans, Gudra. Get out of here. Bye. Alright, Septile comes in. Ooh, see, I wanted to save Henry. I'll go into Shomo. And I'll let Gurren die. Okay, Gurren is just alive apparently uh i'll just toxic the latias and then i'll just let Gurren die yeah okay thank you all right so here's the deal i'm gonna protect up and then i'm just gonna fucking ice beam the septile fuck you you stupid rock sliding cunt septile's obviously dead i'm going to toxic the hydragon and i'm just gonna ice beam the hydragon hydragon set up a fucking tailwind as if it matters i'm gonna protect and then we're gonna ice shard the hydragon ah saving come for the for the end i'm gonna toxic the come and we're gonna ice shard the fucking latias latias dies i shard from a fucking Mamoswine just hits different. Toxic on the Komodo. And then Kiba. Kiba can come in and do its thing. Kiba's gonna go ahead and Mega Evolve and Dragon Claw. Smack him. And that's the Dragon one done. Genuinely, this is the fastest I've ever run through an Elite Four. So far, I just need to beat the next battle, like, relatively quickly, and this will be the fastest run yet, which is... I mean, I, I was saying before, like, how this team looked really good. Like, really good. I think this is probably, like, maybe one of my best type synergy teams. I think they work really well together. You know, whereas the steel type, the steel types were really good, but they didn't have as much synergy. And a lot of this, I've just been, like, kind of sitting around thinking and, like, texting people and, you know. My people, I mean my girlfriend. Like, I've just been sitting around, you know, I've not been like fucking, I've not just been battling this entire time. So, anyways, let's see who it is. Oh, it's Jax. God damn it. I think this is probably the worst one. Yeah, okay. I think any, any chance of us, um, making ground type the fastest one has just went out the window. I could try earth powering Naganadel and high horse powering it. Yeah, there it is. High horse power Naganadel. Down to the sash. Then we earth power, I horsepower, and now gonna delve heat waves. Uh it's fucking annoying. And Moltres is here too. Okay, alright. Let's see what I have. Cause uh something's always gonna get fucking like Naganadel gets Unless I have a Pokemon that can't be flinched, an Oblivious Mon, Naganadel is always going to get its fucking tailwind up. I can stall that out with Shomo. 
a little bit. Donald, maybe. Lead the fat boys. I just hate battling Jax. I just, I never want to see him, man. All right. I will Earth Power Nagadel and I will, uh, I'll Stealth Rock up. Fuck it, dude. All right. Oh, he attacked me straight up. He didn't even get his. He didn't even bother with this thing. Okay. I'm going to recover and I'm going to Stealth Rock. Oh, he doesn't even set up his Tailwind. Interesting. All right. Well, my Stealth Rock's up now. So his Nagadel dies when it comes back in. He's got his own Gastro now. He post combats my. Okay. Seems he kind of malfunctioned and didn't know how to handle this lead. <laughs> All right, cool. I, um, at Earth Power is him on top and I'm going to talk to him on top. Him on top's annoying. Cool. I'm going to just start ice beaming him on top and, uh, well, I'll ice beam his Gastrodon and I guess I'll just Earth. Wait, cool. Recover up on Gastrodon. I'm just going to protect his supply score. Down goes the him on top. The rocks come in and absolutely devastate the Moltres. I can then scald Moltres and, I mean, Gastrodon. The opposite grass Gastrodon might just want to kill Shomo. Maybe I should just swap Shomo out. Hmm. No, Shomo can die if he wants to. It's not a problem. I'll double protect if anything. Okay, that's fine. He arrow blasts. Shomo dies. Earth power. That's okay. Oh, yeah. Scald. Fucking Storm Drain. I'm stupid. That's the whole reason why he's there. Okay, that was a bit of a misplay for me. We don't talk about that. All right, I'm just going to ice beam the Gastron and fucking Thunderbolt the Moltres. Fuck you, you stupid bird. Earth power kills Nido King, which is unfortunate, but that's fine. I want to bring in Wagyu. No, I don't like have a PP on any of my necessary moves. That's kind of annoying. I need to PP my guys up. Knock off the Magna Zone. And Park Grass is me. That's okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, Eva can come in and we're just gonna fucking power off a big earthquake. And I'm gonna I shard the Gastron. Big earthquakes to kill everyone with. Just clear the field and then we go Gurren. Nagandel died like I said it would. Mentz gets fucking Okay. Alright, he's gotta kill both of us, which I don't think he's gonna be able to do, so Mega Mentz comes in rock slides. Oh god, okay. No flinches, please, thank you. Dragon Claw doesn't quite kill, rock slide finishes. Easy! Yeah, that was the fastest Elite Four run. Considering it was Jax too, like that was the fastest Elite Four run. Ground has dethroned Electric. Yeah, the ground type team was solid. That was that was surprisingly the most coherent team I had. I'm very proud of that. This is a fucking team. This just looks like a good team. Like I, looking at these, I don't necessarily even think ground type. Like with Mamoswine, I'm like, oh, that's an ice type. Gastron's a water type. Gliscor, yeah, I think flying type because you know, he's I, I don't necessarily think ground type. Like ground is like all these mons secondary types almost. I mean, it's Gliscor's primary type and it's Exodus's primary type. But for the most part, I don't look at these Pokemon and think that's a ground team, you know? So I think that was, I think that's like the basis of a good monotype team. All right, last for today is the dark type team. Uh, I honestly completely forgot what I was deciding to use. Uh, the only Pokemon I've decided to exclude here was Gyarados and Hoopa Unbound. Um, I mean, Gyarados is actually kind of a really good mon. So if I'm like struggling a lot, Gyarados could always be like a nice pickup instead of, you know, Houndoom, for example, because we already have Mega Titar anyway. Um, but I'm relatively happy with this. I do like a lot of the Pokemon on this team. Uh, I think it'll be fun, you know, to give it a shot. So hopefully we can just run through it with this team. If we struggle, I've got Gyarados and Hoopa Unbound if need be, you know, in the back. So uh, hopefully that's all we'll need. You know, I don't want to have another situation with the fire types where I have to go out and get a fucking Victini or anything. But yeah, I'm not really feeling super confident about this team. Like the fairy type trainer scares me a bit, but we'll we'll do our best. So Moleman leads uh, Excadrill. Uh, I don't know. I feel like there's. I feel like and Scrafty's good because Intimidate. Always good to have an Intimidator. But then like I don't really have anything that just. I don't have like this is a slow team. And even with Gyarados, it's a slow team. So we're gonna have to rely on taking hits more than anything. So maybe I lead Monday and burn the Excadrill. So we Intimidate it, and then I'm gonna maybe Dragon Dance, and then maybe we just fire off an, a Will of Us. He's gonna try and go for flinches. If we just get flinched too much, we'll reset. Uh, clanging scales. Ouch, that hurt. Okay. I got the Dragon Dance off. We got the Will of Wisp off. Excadrill's is not really even a threat. So um, at that point, I want to probably just. I want to Drain Punch Flygon, to be honest. And then maybe fire off. I don't really have anything to recover on. I don't have Dreamy or anything. Eh, I mean, Dreamy is not really good. Yeah, I guess I'll just. I'll fire off a Hex on Excadrill. Fill out speeds. That's okay. Flinch. Never mind. The Rock Slide flinches, man. The Rock Slide flinches. Gotta love them. Rock Slide flinches. Gotta love them, dude. Drain punch the flag on successfully. Your team sadly goes down. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. Flag on can get eye sharded. And then, yeah, just Rock Slides. Okay, that's fine. He's very weak. And then Pants just flinches. It's just the Rock Slide flinches that I have to deal with, man. It just fucking sucks. Oh, we got a triple axle off on the Sand Slash. Nice. Avoided the attack. Never mind. Cool. You can drain punch the Excadrill, which is nice. Nice. Back to full HP. Uh, okay. I can knock off the Sand Slash and 
<laughs> I guess I can knock out the Gliscor. Yeah, the Ground Gym Earthquake kind of sucks. Yeah, um, hmm. Maybe Gyarados is worth it more than like Houndoom, actually. Uh, I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna try just straight up Drain Punching Excadrill and Dark Pulsing Excadrill. Never mind, we got flinched on one of my Pokemon. It's just, ugh. All right, Excadrill's out of the picture. Cool. Then Sand Slash comes in. Um, I can Ice Punch the Flagon and I can try and burn the Sand Slash. Okay, Ground Gym Earthquake. And he just Earth Powers me. Okay. Uh, fuck me, dude. I can't be bothered. Bothered. This battle always leaves a fucking bad taste in my mouth. I think I may maybe I just get rid of Flygon right away and then burn the extra drill. And my Pokemon flinch. God, I love it, dude. I love constantly resetting because there's just a little bit of hacks against me. That's why we don't fuck with bulky mons, man. I mean, I do, but you know what I mean? Like, that's, like it's just... If my Pokemon flinch, then like my like one of my Pokemon flinch, so I've got to reset because like I can't do anything with that. My Pokemon fucking flinch. God, I love Pokemon. What a great battle mechanic. Cool. And we got both. We got we got our way. Cool. Awesome. And then just this fucking Sand Slash just comes in and earthquakes. It just I can't. Oh, I can't do anything against it. I need Gyarados. Triple Axel the Sand Slash. Okay, we're fine. Knock off the Excadrill. He dies to burn. All right, Landorus and Gliscor. I'm going to Triple Axel the Landorus. It's just randomly the Sand Slash. I don't know the Sand Slash. Like, okay, I guess I'll use. Okay, so yeah, we're doing fine. Maybe I don't need it. I just, ah, I don't know what to do. Oh, I poison touched. I was so confused for a second. Okay, I poison touched the Gly score. So then we got these two against, okay, these two. All right, okay. So then I, uh, <laughs> I set them both up to Mega Evolve. Um, I should probably Mega Evolve hand him. I'll crunch you and I'll Fiery Wrath you. The Gly score getting out of here is fucking hot. He's yawning me. Okay, Fiery Wrath. Crunch and yep, he's just now my guy's asleep. Awesome. Fiery Wrath, flinches, no, and then I miss. Okay. It's just it's just down to RNG now. Like, nope. Okay, cool, we lose. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna swap Houndoom out with Gyarados. I think Gyarados is better. Well, I mean I, I know Gyarados is better, but you know what I mean? Like I wanted to use Houndoom for style points. Alright, let's leave double intimidate. Completely shatter that X Goodle's fucking hopes and dreams. And then I'll mega evolve Gyarados. Uh, do I mega evolve Gyarados right away? I probably shouldn't. Just uh, I wanna avoid the yeah. I'm gonna a waterfall extra draw. He's gonna rock slide. He just does so much damage and I just get flinched, bro. And the thing is, I'm pretty sure I need to run Gyaradosite on Gyarados. Otherwise, it doesn't count as it being a dark type, which will invalidate the run altogether. Otherwise, I'd run like Scarf Gyarados. I think Scarf Gyarados would be fucking nice. It's just like, like double intimidate doesn't really do shit when there's a fucking special attacking plug on next to it. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna try these two as a lead. I'm gonna drain punch you and I'm gonna triple axle you. All right, you're dead. Pants flinched. Awesome, dude. Love flinching. Actually, my favorite activity. I love it. Then I can't. I just, I can't, dude. I can't. I just get fucking... Ah, I can't. This battle just fucking pisses me off so much. It's so bullshit. You have Sand Veil Mon. Sand Rush Mon. It's just because the Sandstorm's permanent. Like... If, the, if it was just a regular sandstorm, the sandstorm's permanent and it does double the damage of a usual sandstorm. Like, it's genuinely so fucking bullshit. Like, compared to other battles. Like, this one is just incredibly stupid. Alright, now we drain punch the fucking extra drill. Oh, we're going to Gyarados. Fuck it, dude. Let's take the double rock slide. Yep, he dies. Alright, cool. I, I can't do anything. I can't. I can't do anything. It's just not working. Because I just get flinched. Like, my Pokemon don't have speed, so I get flinched. And, like, all I can do is run like Scarf Weavile. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Hold on. I'm running Scarf Weavile. I don't care anymore, dude. I'm gonna Dragon Dance up with Scrafty, and then we're gonna Triple Axel the extra girl. This should hopefully be enough to. It, it's not even enough to kill. Oh my God, Scarf Weavile, so weak. Holy fucking shit. Oh my God, dude. And now I'm thinking about bringing Houndoom back on because he has Sucker Punch, and that will be nice for a little bit of chip damage on extra drill. Oh my God, this is so fucking stupid, dude. I don't even think Adamant. I don't even think Adamant would be able to take that out. I don't know if Adamant would make that big of a difference on Weavile. I mean, I could try, but like, I need to be like in a specific speed range. Like, Gyarados is like the only Mon that is in that specific speed range that a Choice Scarf would make it out of speed Excadrill. Um, but I'm pretty sure that would invalidate the run because he's not a dark type. So, I mean, there's Hoopa Unbound, but I don't think Hoopa Unbound's fast enough. I don't know if Scarf, I don't know if Scarf Hoopa Unbound is fast enough. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure Gyarados is, to be honest. Okay, yeah, Gyarados is in the spot that Scarf would have speed it. Yeah, just barely. Because for some reason, his Excadrill is not running speed investment. Okay, so that's that's why certain Scarf Mon... If his Excadrill was running speed investment, this would be even more... Like, this would be even worse. Like, this... His, his Excadrill is max HP, max attack. If his Excadrill was running speed investment, this would be even more cruel because none of my Scarf users would have speed. And I guess I could also run Tailwind, but I don't know a dark type that gets Tailwind. Um, so... Let's see. Hoopa Unbound. I'm pretty sure can outspeed it. Maybe... Hoopa Unbound, max speed plus... Yeah, Hoopa Unbound actually 
If the Excadrill was level 100, Hoopa Unbound would speed tie with it. But because it's not level 100, Hoopa Unbound has speed. As long as my Hoopa Unbound is jolly. I don't remember if it's jolly. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that. And the only way out of it is by losing. Yay. Losing more money too. Awesome thing. All right. Yeah, I did. I did jolly. I did jolly. All right. Jolly scarf. I could try an adamant weavile as well. I'm gonna try an adamant weavile. I want to try everything I can to make this as painless as possible. Give you an adamant nature. Prison bottle on you. All right. This is like such a weird team, man. Okay. Uh, this hoopa will be able. It will be able to speed X grill, which is nice. All right. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna try this. We're gonna see if adamant scarf weavile will uh, at all just be able to oko it. It just can't. It just can't. Adamant scarf. I mean, it, it was maybe like a low roll, so we'll try it again. But like adamant scarf just isn't working. So then maybe. Okay, I missed. All right, no. It's just it's just constantly resaying. It's just so upsetting. Yeah, no, Adamant Scarf just doesn't quite kill. I think I might just leave the Scarf on it just because it will be nice to like, I don't know. It'll be nice to like outspeed like Sand Slash, I suppose. So here's what we do. We Drain Punch you and then we fucking, this will just triple axle the Excadrill too. Hanging Scales, that's fine. I'm going to switch out Ratio, go into Sick, and then we'll just triple axle. I mean, that's a bigger threat to be honest. I guess the fucking Landorus just likes you turning. It's going to kill something. I don't know what's more annoying, Flygon or Landorus. <sighs> we'll do Landorus, triple axle, boom. Boom. One more, please, for the boys. Let's go. Banging scales, that's fine. All right, now Sand Slash comes in. Yeah, okay, okay. I'll Space Fury the Sand Slash. Do as much damage as I can. Ooh, big scary man with a big scary damage. Okay, that did a decent amount, but we're gonna die to Earthquake here. This just isn't going well. <laughs> um, I'll Dark Pulse the Flag, uh, the Sand Slash, and Ice Punch the Flag on. You see, that didn't do that much. Banging scales, however, the Flag on's gone. Dark Pulse the Sand Slash doesn't quite kill. Fly Score's here. I can Ice Punch the Fly Score and drag Dark Pulse the, yeah, it's just, it just dead. Wait, Sand Slash is dead now. I die. It's, now it's just Tyranitar versus the world. I can just spam Rock Slide and hope for the best, but it's not gonna work out. It's yeah, we got yawned. Like it just doesn't work out. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. We've got something working. It's always this fucking mole man, dude. I genuinely despise it. Brain punch this idiot, and then I'll just triple axel, and then I wanna switch out. We'll just sick, and then we'll triple axel. Flag on, this flag on is so fucking annoying. No matter what, we've all dies after like two turns, so. Maybe I can save it for something, I don't know. Cool. We intimidate the sand slash. I would like to knock off the sand slash and, uh, hold on, let me check. I hate looking up calcs for this shit, but like, I kind of like have to at this point, just to fucking, just so I'm not slamming my head against the wall. Sand slash is also max HP max attack with sand rush, but it's level 100. Sand slash's speed goes up to 334, so it's not as bad. Yeah. Uh, Scrafty just isn't able to speed it. I'd have to be plus two to speed it. Uh, and I got Scrafty up to plus two and he died to the sandstorm. The very fair and balanced sandstorm that doesn't just fuck me over. Totally. Fuck it, stupid, dude. Cool. Yeah, I can't do this. And people get mad. They're like, well, why are you complaining? And I'm like, dude, this is fucking annoying. What do you mean? Why am I complaining? I take so much time out of my day just to fucking try and do this shit, man. I'm going to drain punch the flag on instead of switching out like a little pussy. And then I'm going to triple axle the glide score. And I'm gonna miss. LOL. Relax on you. Hopefully he U-turns the, the muck. Now it's Weavile. Okay. Weavile just can't fucking get a break, man. And of course, fucking Landorus comes back. I'm gonna cry, dude. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Please, God. Um, I don't know what to do. I guess I just kill Sand Slash. Uh, and then try to level this. I score. Please let me let I don't let. Oh my god, I got plus two, plus two, and I still fucking die. Dude, somebody help me. Oh my god. I'm gonna lose my mind here. And I'm so sick of being yawned. I'm so tired of being yawned. And then we get I think the issue. <sighs> I'm so fucking mad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking scream, dude. I can't, and dude, I just hate this battle so much. I'm, I'm not even halfway done with this shit, dude. I'm not even halfway done. I think we just gotta do fucking ice punch because, like, I can't with the accuracy missing. I just can't, dude. I got a guy ice punch on my weavile. All right, ice punch instead of triple axle. I also thought, like, uh, I guess taunt uh, would be good for glide score, but like, I never really get the opportunity to use it. But I don't know. I'll just taunt is a good move on weavile anyway, so I'll, I'll have that instead of fucking pursuit all right let's do dream punch ice punch cool much better more consistent and then strain punch you and then let's ice punch you ice punch oko is the glide score oh my god i'm so happy glide scores out of the way cool i'm going to sick cool then i'm going to dream punch the flag on and i'm going to knock off the landerus he's going to u-turn that's fine i'm going to sand slash and knock off his fucking crown gem oh my god this is beautiful all right we intimidate intimidate cool now we get a dragon dance off and i'm going to knock off the landerus cool. we knock off bags instead that's fine i'm going to 
an ice punch sand slash and get out of the way. I'm gonna be able to live. I'm gonna fucking gunk shot as well. Cool. I did did ice punches not kill? I just I'm not oh yeah, I'm intimidated, aren't I? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay. Alright, then we got Landorus. Okay, okay. Ice punch Landorus. And then we're gonna Willow Wisp Landorus. Ice punched. Willow Wisp burn. Oh my god. Okay, holy shit. Mega Evolve you, Rock Slide, and Hex. Rock Slide done. Hex you. Alright. Crunch. And we're in Willow Wisp real quick. Crunch dead. Oh my god. Okay. All I needed was Ice Punch on Weavile. Triple Axel is a dog shit move. I don't know why I ever tried to use it. I just, you know, I was like, oh, well, you know, I can always reset a bunch if I need to. You know, damage is always better than accuracy, but like, I'm never going to go by that philosophy ever again, dude. Holy shit. Why the fuck am I running Scarf Weavile, bro? That's so unnecessary. I'll give it a Sash for now. Uh, okay, okay. Wrong one. I probably don't. I don't know how to leave for Mimikyu. See, this is where Triple Axel would be good for Mimikyu. I hate a human, but it's whatever. This Mimikyu is going to be the bane. Okay, I need to just do muck, I think. Flap a knockoff and then gunk shot. And I probably should have saw for that coming and pursued, but whatever. Gunk shot. Give me the poison. Go on, be nice. No? Okay, that's fine. Knock off. And then he's just going to iron defense. Okay. Yeah, okay. You're an asshole. All right, so we got a little pattern going here. We knock off and then we pursuit trap it. Nice. Big damage on the Mimikyu. This cunt comes in and... Yes, Spirit Team can handle it. Now we will OS and then we start hexing. Yeah, cool. Dead. Nice. Uh, then this guy comes in. He's going to want to go into T-Tar for this one. Yep. All right. Nice. Handled. I'm going to rock slide you, you big clown. Then we go Aegislash. Aegislash likes to poison. King Shield, so we'll go into sick. See, at least Muck has a use. and He's not completely useless. All right. I'll just start firing off knockoffs, to be honest. Like, there's no reason not to fire off a knockoff. He Shadow Ball that did nothing. He's not going to switch out. No, not, you're not going to switch out, dickhead. Like, you're not, you're not going to damage me at all. So, like, I... <laughs> You're just wasting PP here for yourself, to be honest, mate. Like, I don't... I'm just gonna fire punch a bit. I don't want to waste too much PP of the same move. Like, because he's made me minus six now, so it's just... Like, I mean... Yeah, okay. And then he just king shields. Um, I'm pretty sure Space Fury goes through any sort of protect. Yeah, Space Fury. Yeah, it goes through substitutes and stuff. Awesome. Cool. And then we'll just Space Fury. It's gonna sucker punch. Yeah, I should have saw that one come. I saw it coming, I just... I pressed the button too soon. Um, all right, we'll intimidate you, and then we'll knock off you, and that didn't... Oh, yeah, it's the fucking Shadow Shield. Yeah, we'll just get some knockoffs done. This thing's gonna come in and want to play rough my ass. I mean, I don't really have anything else I can do. Whatever, you can have me. I will Ice Punch your stupid bitch ass, and then Trevenant, Ice Punch. Freeze, I will take it. Ice Punch, Ice Punch, dead. Fuck you. Absolutely fuck you. This is a rough... This is a rough Elite Four run. We've got, like... We're, we're like fighting an uphill battle dude because we've got to fight the fairy types now oh no oh no okay Rebombi lead uh t-tar actually yeah t-tar works really well because i sandstorm will kill it so we just fire off a big fucking rock slide and sandstorm will yep never mind i fucking reflect so maybe i dragon dance turn one then yeah i think we'll dragon dance turn one it'll moon blast me and it won't do too much because we do get a spadaf buff because of the yeah okay so now we rock slide yeah there you go now you switch you fucking coward uh we're going to sick i think he's gonna have to carry us a little bit here uh then he goes into ball well should have saw that one coming okay okay iron head kills me that makes sense oh this is gonna be a rough battle all right we're gonna do this again dragon dance turn one get the reflect up and i want to go for rock slide azumarill comes in we can handle this with you um and then, yeah, we'll gunk shot. And then you'll probably go into Mawile now. So, oh, no, you didn't go into Mawile. I guess you only go into Mawile. Yeah, you only go... Oh, you go into Sylveon. That's fine. Gunk shot you as well. <sighs> it's just about weighing the reflect out, actually. Maybe I can give Brick Break to someone. Brick Break here. Yeah, Muck can learn Brick Break. Uh, I mean, I think Pursuit was nice. I'm trying to think where it'll be useful. I mean, I guess Fire Punch. I'll give it a Fire Punch, dude. Fuck it. I don't care. All right, let's do this thing. So I Mega Evolve and Dragon Dance up. And then you're going to want to switch out into... So I will go into sick. And then I'm going to gunk shot you. You then now switch? Why do you double? I just... Does the AI learn? Are you really learning like that? Is that how it is? Okay. Let's do this again. Mega Evolve and Dragon Dance. And then you're going to switch. And I misclicked. Okay, whatever. I'm plus two now, apparently. Yep. Okay, I'm just going to reset that. <sighs> Chat, this is really fucking stressful, man. Dragon Dance up. Yep, now you're gonna switch out. Now I'm gonna switch out. Yep, okay. And then uh, apparently you like switching out somewhere. And sometimes you don't. 
and sometimes you don't and it doesn't it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense when you do and don't it's really fucking annoying there's no like method to your madness you're just like oh you know i kind of kind of feel like it kind of kind of don't i right, now gunk shot okay and i miss cool i have to reset love missing if you don't want to miss callum you should run poison jab and i miss gunk shot again dude get a grip 15 percent my ass dude all right i'm gonna gunk shot and <laughs> Now it's switching. There's just, there's just no way of knowing. There's just no way of knowing when it's going to switch. It's so infuriating. It's so infuriating. Like, okay, now I'm going to gunk shot again. Now it's... It, 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 does it read that I used gunk shot and it's like, oh, I'm going to well. But if you use brick break, I'm going to stay in. Like, let's, let's test this out. Dragon dance, cool. And then we, we go into sick. And then we, then we hit him with the... We hit him with the but now we want to use brick break. And okay, you actually switched. Cool. Fuck your screens. Um, I don't even know what to do about this, to be honest. Like, none of my mons do well against Mawile. Maybe I just let Sick go. No, he's, you know, he's too valuable. He's way too valuable. Run Scrafty to intimidate it. Um, I'll Drain Punch and let Scrafty go. Yeah, okay, then T-Tar can fucking Earthquake kill. Nice. Good, good, good. That works. Then we go back into Sick. Oh, that did way too much damage. That did, and we missed too. Oh my god, get a grip, dude. Long shot. Yeah, okay. This is just fucking infuriating. Ice punch. It doesn't even kill. Oh my god. This is this is truly an uphill battle. This is I need everything to go perfectly. Like I can't like I can't have it go any other way but perfect. I need to break break. Oh no, it didn't it didn't it didn't switch. Okay, now I, okay, now you switch. It just doesn't make sense, dude. I nearly have it. I think my Weavile just needs to know poison jab, and that will help a lot. I don't know if it will help me get the it'll, it'll just help a bit. And then I think maybe Weavile can run like a band, like a choice band. I think that'll that'll like push us over. I've nearly got it though, I think. Uh, I'll get rid of Taunt for now. And I'm pretty sure my choice band's in my bag. If it's not, I will cry. Alright, it is, thank god. Okay, so let's try and get this to work. So what I've been doing is uh, I've been dragon dancing, of course. And then we switch into Muck. And then from there, we Brick Break. It, okay, sometimes it just doesn't want to switch. It needs to switch. They need to switch. Because I'm not going to play that fucking game. I'm not going to... I'm The way I've learned is this happens, this happens. And then they switch again. And it's just not switching. Love it, dude. So fucking cool. It's just learning a completely different battle. Please switch. It just doesn't. It's just not doing it. All right, you know what? Fine. I'll gunk shot. I'll, I'll bite. I'll gunk shot. Now you switch. That's such fucking bullshit. That's genuinely so fucking stupid, dude. All right, you better fucking switch. I'm going to brick break. Oh my god. <laughs> the AI cheats. It genuinely cheats. All right, I'm going to brick break. You better switch. It just, I, it just doesn't. It just doesn't. It only switches when I gunk, gunk shot. It's insane. It's not been doing this until now. It's really fucking infuriating. Now if I gunk shot. Okay, it didn't switch. Cool. I'm going to gunk shot again. Probably shouldn't have. I, it, this isn't good. Like this, I need muck alive. I need muck alive. So like this is not, like this is not optimal. I need it to switch. Genuinely, I need it to switch. Like for this battle to work, I need you to switch on the brick break. And it just isn't switching on the brick break. Oh, okay. Wait, it stayed in. Why? That's so weird. Okay, well, you're dead. Mawile comes in, I guess. Um, I'm gonna go to Scrafty and let Scrafty die. Um, actually, no, I, I don't think this works. I need I need the speed. This battle is just... I just I just want them to do the original battle. I Mega Evolve, I Dragon Dance. I switch into Muck, you switch into Azumarill. I Brick Break, you switch into... Why? Okay. Now, from here, you switch into Mawile, right? So, when you do that, I, I don't... Uh, Scrafty, I guess. Yep. Cool. Then I'm gonna Dream Punch it. Did nothing. Holy shit. It, like, this just doesn't... Like, this isn't the way I've learned to do this battle. Fuck me. Give me a break, dude. Give me a break. It's just not doing it the way I've learned anymore. And it's like... I literally had high hopes. I think... Is it because I gave my fucking Weavile poison jab? It's just like, oh yeah, we're not gonna do it the way that you... Like, like, Brick Break. It's... Fuck me, dude. And now it's switching out on the Earthquake. That's just so weird, dude. So weird. Bilbion can get rock slid, fuck you. Happy Finny wants to come in now and get rock slid, okay, fine. Ah, uh, I guess I can go into muck and I can gunk shot. Okay, Mawile still exists, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I don't, I can't do anything, because now Mawile just play rough something and it dies. I, can, I don't have Fire Punch or muck anymore, so I don't need it. It's Monday can die, will no, okay. I, yeah, I just lose. I'm hungry and I'm tired of doing this fucking Elite Four run, and I'm, I, I just want to be done. And it's just, it's just changed. It's changed the way I, 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 you're meant to switch when I break break. 
but you don't, and it's so fucking dumb, dude. Okay, I'm gonna fucking an earthquake, no, and then you want the Sylveon. Okay, so you want to save? Okay, fine. I'm gonna rock slide you. You're gonna wish. I'm gonna rock slide you again. I'm gonna fucking rock slide you again, and I'm gonna rock slide you again, and you're dead. Cool. If anyone wants to come in and get some rock slide action, flinch, please. No flinch. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go into muck, and then I'm gonna. I, I'm, I'm threatening this thing with a fucking. I've got nothing. Okay, I've got fire punch. Okay, I'm gonna switch into this, and it doesn't. It doesn't switch. Make it make sense, dude. Make it make like before when I was in that situation, it switched into mobile. It's literally just a bunch of 50-50s. It's just a bunch of 50-50s, and I can't fucking win them consistently. It's like a 50-50 of this will happen. Like before when I was in that situation, it literally switched. Brick break. Cool. I'm gonna brick break again. Damage on Mawile. And then we're gonna go into Scrafty. Take the little little, little Iron Head me. That's fine. Drain Punch. And then, okay, Drain Punch again. I guess Play Rough Mist. Cool, that's fine. I go T-Tar. Uh, you decide you're gonna switch out. Yep, into Finny. Okay, that's not ideal. Uh, it's learning. It's literally learning and it's so infuriating. Stop learning. I want to Dragon Dance. Uh huh. And then I'm going to Rock Slide. And then I'm going to Rock Slide again. Fuck you, crit, dead. I'm going to Rock Slide this. Super far kills me. I don't think that should have killed. Poison Jab. Fuck you. Mawile comes in. <laughs> okay, um, I'll sack Monday off. For Lewis. No, nope, okay, that's fine. Oh, okay, no, I just lose. I just can't. I can't do anything. Because Sucker. Yep. <sighs> I knew this battle was going to be hard, but fuck me, dude. This thing used to switch right away, and it's really fucking infuriating that it doesn't. I go into you, and then I'm going to dragon... I, I should have dragon danced on the switch. That's what, that's what I meant to do. I misclicked. Okay, it's fine. Whatever. Rock slide. Rock slide. Kill. Cool. And then we've got this Finny to deal with. Rock slide. No flinchies. Okay, that's fine. I will go into Muck, and then... See, like... I, see, this is... Like, I'll gunk shot. Okay. And she doesn't switch. Okay. That's fine. And I'll gunk shot. Uh, okay, that doesn't quite kill, but we're nearly there. Cool, that kills. Mobile's back. Um, Mobile can circle punch me. That's fine. I will go into you and fire punch. That's fine. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go into Monday. I'm going to Will o Wisp. I'm going to Will o Wisp. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm gonna go into dagger. I'm going to ice punch. I'm going to ice punch. You're dead. And then we got Rebombi. Oh my god. I can maybe. I can maybe. Does fire punch kill? It doesn't. No. <laughs> I was right there. I don't know if Gunk Shot would have. I don't think Gunk Shot was super effective. Oh no, I was right there. I was right there. I could use save states and cheese this, but I've, I'm, I'm so stubborn. I don't want to. Okay, so now we're back to this bullshit. Okay. I forgot how to even do this battle now. Uh, I think I then switch into Scrafty. Yep. Cool. Then I Drain Punch. Yep. And then I go into you and I, I Earthquake. Yep, because you let me kill you. And then you bring in this thing. And I think generally what I do is I let Tyranitar go down, Fairy Gems me, okay, that's fine. And then we go back into Muck, and then I Gunk Shot, and then we Gunk Shot again, we miss, awesome. Uh, I just love missing Gunk Shot, Gunk Shot you, play rough kills, yep, I do. It's falling apart, boys, it's falling apart. <laughs> I have faith, I can do this, I'm just hungry. All right, we're back on this bullshit. Gunk Shot this, Gunk Shot again, nice. Zoom roll comes in, Gunk Shot that bitch. Gunk Shot me, that's fine. I will Poison Jab. Cool. Then Rebombi comes in and outspeeds me, so I'll go into Monday. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Let's see Gunk Shot. Does Gunk Shot kill? Gunk Shot did kill. Oh my god, I should have Gunk Shot. I mean, we missed Gunk Shot. We missed two of them. No, why, dude? Why am I missing Gunk Shots? It's another thing. I can't miss Gunk Shot, otherwise I lose. All right, let's do this. We're going to do the Brick Break. Yep, go into Mobile. And then we're going to Scrafty. Bane Punch, big damage. Cool. All right, now we're going to T-Tar. So now you Sucker Punch, but I'm going to Dragon Dance here instead, and then I'm going to Earthquake you. No Sucker Punch for me. Cool, now we Rock Slide. Ah, but Sylveon's just alive for free. Uh, you know what, I'll go into this. We'll Poison Jab. Cool. Rebombi comes back in. I can Sap. Yeah, I'll go into Mug. Take the Moonblast decently. Gunk Shot this. Cool. Sylveon comes in. I Okay, you Hyper Voice me. That's fine. I'm going to Gunk Shot, and I miss. Gunk shot, cool. Double gunk shot would have killed there, so that's unfortunate. Poison jab this. It doesn't quite kill. Poison jab kills. Ice punch does more. I, I, I just lose. I, I can't. I have maybe a poison jab. Yeah, no, I just lose. Oh my god, dude. This is the worst. This is genuinely the worst. Alright, we dragon we drain punch you. Alright, now we're going to T Tar. Dragon dance on this full earthquake. And then a zoom roll loves coming in. Give me the flinch. I need I need the flinch. Oh see, so yeah, sometimes it doesn't kill me, but then it oh, jets anyway. Fuck off. Now you're not switching again. Awesome, dude. Love that. <laughs> oh, it just muddies everything. No, for some reason it switches out on this fucking... Yeah, probably should have Dragon Dance. No Dragon Dance now. Fuck you. Rock Slide Flinch. No. Give me the Rock Slide Flinch. No, Rock Slide Crit. I'll take it. Rock Slide Flinchies. Rock Slide 
yep, 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 cool. All right, cool. This is good. This is good. Give me the, yep, just just give me, let me damage. Just let me do all this damage with T-Tar. Yes, Rock Slide, superpower, that's fine. All right, we're doing okay. We're doing okay for ourselves. I'm going to Gunk Shot you. Yes, no missing. Gunk Shot you. We missed. That's fine. Reflect up. That's fine. Gunk Shot. Yes, we did it. Oh my god, fuck that battle, dude. T-Tar was the key all along. T-Tar was the key all along. I just had to get lucky with a rock slide flinch on T-Tar. That was fucking stupid. Never again, dude. All right, now the fucking dragon bitch leads. Um, Tarantrum and Gudra. Tarantrum can get slapped by Weavile. Actually, everything can get slapped by Weavile. Uh, I'll try running Scarf Weavile again for now. And then... Uh, so Tarantrum gets slapped and Kudra kind of just stands there and maybe we can Dragon Dance his craft or something, I don't know. Alright, well, Ice Punch this idiot and then I'll just Dragon Dance up. And Tarantrum lives! Okay, I guess I'm running Banded Weavile. Ice Punch this idiot and then we Dragon Dance up. Kudra's gonna Thunderbolt me, okay, that's fine. I'm gonna Ice Punch this idiot and now I'm gonna start Ice Punching these idiots. Yep, cool. Double Ice Punching. Ice Punch. <sighs> Yeah, he's faster than me though, isn't he? I'll save Dagger. Um, going to Monday. Monday's kind of the weakest link. I'll Ice Punch Gudra. Unless I flinch with Rock Slide. Yeah, I flinched. Okay, fair enough. Well, we're kind of just letting these guys die off. Just, yep, just flinch me to death, guys. Yep, just, just let me do no damage. I love it. All right, so this is where Dagger comes in with the fucking Banded Ice Shard. Holy shit. Oh my god, awesome. And then, and then I, I don't, I don't know. You know what? I'll just Banded Ice Shard again. And then we'll Banded Dream Oh, we'll... we'll Dragon Dance Stream Punch. Yeah, we've got this one in the bag. This one's not a problem. Nice shard, space fury this, and we win. Cool. God, it makes me so happy when the fucking dragon one's the easiest. She's usually the one that gives me all the fucking trouble. All right, now, God, please give me an easy Elite Four fucking... Just give me the kid, Milo. I don't... Just... just uh, it's fucking Jax. Of course it's Jax, dude. <laughs> I'm not mentally prepared to do this battle. I'm not mentally prepared to do this battle. Okay, okay. I'm gonna reset really quick and think about it. Okay. Um, him on top versus Nagadal. Okay. Um, I get faked out no matter what. I think Monday's not a bad lead. Monday and Spirit. Monday and Pants. Let's try this. Because you can only you can only fake out one of them. So I will burn. I'll burn him on top. I'll try and Dragon Dance. Yep. And they just double into Scrafty, that's fine. I'm gonna Hex him on top now. And now I'm gonna Dragon Dance. Cool. And now I'm gonna Hex you, and then I'm gonna Ice Punch you. Now I'm gonna Delta still faster, okay. All right, okay. Um, I'm going to Space Fury you and Ice Punch you. Now I'm gonna Delta still faster. Dude, now I'm gonna Delta needs, oh yeah, I got a fucking boost, didn't it? Yeah. Now I'm gonna Delta needs a break, dude. Okay, Um, Space Fury, the fucking him on top, and then I'm going to, pretty sure Mensa speeds me. So I'm gonna Ice Shard it. Banded Ice Shard isn't enough to kill, unfortunately. A ratio has no moves left, so I'll go into slick and then ice shard you, fuck you, burn kills, nice, nice, nice. This is working out just fine. I'm going to brick break you and I'm going to I'm gonna save dagger. Uh wait, do I save dagger? Maybe I don't. Maybe I just get yeah, some ice shard damage off, yeah. Ooh, that was a crit, nice, big damage. Alright, brick break you again, and I'm going to I'm um, running out of PP on everything. Holy shit. You know, I'll gunk shot the Moltres and then I'm gonna drain punch the Moltres. That magnezone. Cool. That works. That works. Cool. And then we have a single Gastron to fight against. We'll just, we'll be okay though. We'll be okay. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Mega Evolve Crunch plus Drain Punch. It should be fine. It should. Yeah, there we go. Oh my God, dude. That was, that was a run. I mean, that was nowhere near as bad as the fire type run. Like by this point doing the fire type run, I was still fighting Mole Man. But like that was still, that was probably the second worst one, I think. And I think Grass, I don't know, this and Grass. Between this and Grass, they were both pretty bad. And the fucking ironic thing is I didn't even need to finish Grass. Grass, I was doing it just out of the, the kindness of my heart for content i didn't i didn't need to do it you know because like i already beat grass with shaman either way this is my dark type team not the team i really originally wanted to run but fuck it we ball and that is part three of the monotype runs i'm halfway through now i hope the rest of them don't give me as much trouble i think the types i have upcoming are relatively strong except from like bug poison and ice uh, um, we'll, we'll be fine i hope i just don't want any more i'm gonna go food i'm gonna go eat i'm gonna go eat thanks for watching